Good morning, everybody. We have to go into town because I forgot to buy toilet paper and paper towels, so we're going to go to Family Dollar. Look at that. Mm. Silly dog. Look at the silly dog. You want to go for a ride? You tired of being around here? <laughs> how are you doing? No, it's how are you doing? <laughs> what? There's nothing in my pockets for you. Mm. Where's your leash? Huh? Doug and I are sitting here waiting for Don to get done talking to his friend in there, Sarah. He uh, <clears throat> he pays her a hundred bucks a month because that's part of paying off the house and the property. But you go in there and she talks and talks and talks forever. Boring, isn't it, Tug? Yeah, I want to go. No, we've been out here for half an hour or so already. Who knows? Lay down. We have to wait. So now we're in the Anway thrift store. There's a pink Christmas tree. <laughs> and you know, a whole bunch of stuff. It's been a long time since we've been in here, so we'll see if we can find something. So this place just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And it used to be the Anway Hospital. I was born in this building. But the hospital went out of business years ago. So. <laughs> the owner just asked if Don wants to help her do something, so I guess. <laughs> well, I found all the books and a whole bunch of albums and stuff. I'll look through them, but they're probably crap. Who knows? Look at the weird lighting in here. <laughs> But, we'll see. So far I haven't found anything. That woman said she'd give Don a 50% off coupon for helping with whatever. I don't know, I didn't follow him. So I bought this, and that, and we ended up not using this because this was half off already anyway. So she said, save it for next time. So we will. <laughs> How much did you hand me? Seven. Seven? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, this is the old Anway Hospital, not very big, and I was born in there, so it went out, out of business quite a few years ago. You're not going very far, you know. You're staying right here. He wanted to get out a little before we left, so. Yeah, I really had to go to a place where we're at now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still out there. Oh, what did they? What did she have you do? No, yeah, move some, uh, move, move some big racks around for uh, hanging clothing on. Oh, huh. silly doggy. Now we're gonna have lunch at Subway again, which they have that thing for the car wash. Yes, it's a real car, but this is the Onway Subway. So he did the same thing as yesterday, meatball, but he got the foot long this time. And so did I, but it's uh, ro ch um, chicken, something chicken. Uh, roti roasted chicken. So it'll be good. And this is all I'm having for lunch. And then we'll go home. 
So, we're watching Spies Like Us and Don's making dinner, which he's going to have fattening hamburger burger. That's oh. humongous. That's going to be your burger? Yeah, for that pounder. And Chevy Chase is over there going, Spies Like Us. And then uh, these potatoes, but I'm only having the one serving. I already tracked my whole dinner already, and I know I'm doing good. No, you're doing horrible. No. And this is my bun. Get some light here. Which I'm going to toast it. Yeah, they're thin. But that's alright. They only have 100 calories. And I'm going to toast it. It'll be really good. And I'm going to use this one. This One of these this time. The spicy black bean burger. Next time I'll do chicken sandwich stuff. And then some corn. And that'll be my dinner. And then whatever he has with his, besides the potatoes, we're both having the potatoes. Do you want corn or some other vegetable? Uh, I don't want corn. Well, if you want vegetable, you have to make your own. Well, uh, whatever. Uh, no, no, I already tracked. Everything's good. And when we came back from town, I rode the bike, so that's done too now. And I noticed my jeans are getting looser. Kind of baggier on me, so that's good. You crazy? Uh, maybe. And this is where I put the wolf hat. And it's one of those things with hand things in it. I can't afford a spirit hoodie. I really want one. But they cost 125 to 150 bucks a piece. But they're designed like this. Just made much, much better. But you put your hands in here and keep your hands warm. That's as close as I can get unless someday somebody buys me a spirit hoodie as a gift. But I highly doubt that. Well, this movie makes a lot of noise. Doesn't it, Tug? I know. It's Chevy Chase, and he's always good. But And Dan Aykroyd. But boy, they're making a bunch of noise. <laughs> yeah, they're acting like they got, that, they got problems. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to cheat on their tests. Oh. <laughs> There's dinner. I toasted my bun, so that'll be good. And then here's Don's you toasted your bun. Gigantic burger. <laughs> Half pounder. Yeah. I don't need to be eating stuff like that. And he's got a normal bun. Potatoes. Extra onions. But yep, that's dinner. Yeah? Yeah. Mine's healthy, yours is not. That's fine. Mine's healthy. Yeah, for five thousand grams of fat. It's healthy. Well, good for you. Yeah. So I've been working on the cross stitch. This is the wreath around the... Well, I don't know if that's a duck or a goose. Maybe a goose because the neck's so long. Oh yeah, it says goose and butterfly. So a goose. The wreath around the goose's neck. Duck, duck, goose. It's supposed to come out like that. But I'm having trouble with it because... And I've made a few mistakes in it, which I'm trying to repair as I go along by covering the wrong colors over with the right colors and then at the end adding in the right colors where there's nothing somehow I messed up the green but the reason for that is that I have macular degeneration in my left eye so I have no depth perception and I uh, when I bring things close to my eyes I see double so that sucks and that's why I haven't done any cross stitch in a few years I'm managing, but if it, my eye wasn't messed up, I wouldn't have made that stupid mistake somewhere along the line. But most of you probably don't even know I have that problem. Because I don't run around going, hey, I'm almost blind in one eye. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel it worthy of mentioning. Because back in 2007, I just woke up one day and everything looked funny out of that eye. And I had no, uh, no central vision. So I had to go to the doctor and they found out the back of my eye was bleeding. So they had to send me to Traverse City for laser surgery to stop it. But there's a scar in there that will be there forever. So if I go like this, yeah, now I can't see the camera. And now I can't see Don. And it's not like black blindness, but there's no central vision. It's like when you look at the sun and then you look away and there's a black spot in your eye. Well, it's like I did that, but it's there forever. And if it ever goes to my right eye, I'm totally screwed. Because I won't be able to watch TV or be on the computer or work or drive or anything. 
I won't be uh, blackness blind, but I'll be legally blind, and that's going to suck. But it's been almost 10 years, so maybe my right eye won't ever do it. I hope not. So what are you doing over there? What are you doing? I'm doing cross-stitch, and we just watched something called Carnage Park on Netflix, which was the creepiest, weirdest damn thing ever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Is that all you know how to say? Yeah. All right, then. Yeah? There, finally. Many, many, many hours later, many movies later on Netflix, it's finally done. So... It really sucks with the way my eye is, but I got it done. And I'll hang it up somewhere. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> what? Sammy, what are you doing over here? Where'd you find a, a, an old dryer sheet? You're hyper crazy. So we're going to say goodnight, and we hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Hey, say good night in there. Good morning. Okay. That's his smoking room. So, we'll see you tomorrow.